Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today we're going to do the first rounds video and talk about Smith & Wesson Shield Easy in 9. Uh, right off the bat, this thing's way heavier. Uh, it looks like they're using a normal M&P compact slide and then doing all the uh, internal work for the firing pin insert because it is still hammer fired. Um, as far as being easier to rack, I'd say it's about the same amount of force as a shield, but it's brand new, straight out of the box. I can't rack it with my pinky like I can the 380 easy. Uh, it comes with two nine round mags, or correction, eight round mags. Uh, one's back at the shop. We got the safety model, so we can go ahead and redesign, or well, not redesign, but design a scutum for the Shield 9. Um, trigger isn't terrible, straight out of the box, but we'll be doing a scutum for it, get rid of some of that pre-travel, flatten the trigger out. But uh, let's go ahead and load up and see how she does. So one neat little feature on this is the loading tabs for the 9. One major design flaw is they have the slide lock moving off the loading tab so that'll be fun for a plus one but i will say this very easy to load rounds into so i do kind of like that feature not gonna lie right, number eight and so what we're going to test with today we're going to try since it is a hammer fired gun some 115 tula and some 115 pmc bronze and run a couple mags each see how she does so i'm back here at about five yards uh 15 feet we all love a, uh oh, helps if I lock that part out, huh? There we go. All right. So we're back here at 15 feet, five yards. Actually, we're probably at about 16, 17 feet. So between five and seven yards. So our normal engagement area, we've got, you notice I moved some of the targets around. Um, got a new set up behind everything just haven't decided what i'm gonna hang back there yet but found some old birchwood kc tiny stickers stuck them on everything but first let's do our accuracy test we'll shoot at the lower left on the champion target first all right so let me shooting this and here we go Well, some of that's me, some of it's the Tula, and uh, some of it's this thing's got some some recoil trying to uh, design for that light rack. So let's load up a mag of PMC Bronze real fast. Not gonna lie. As much as loading tabs kind of a pain to design extensions around and whatnot, it does make it way easier to load this thing. I will say though, it is it's the first rounds I fired out of it. Thing is very unbalanced, very light frame and a very heavy slide as opposed to its 380 counterpart. But Let's try some PMC Bronze 115 now. Same target. So the group's got a little tighter. My point of aim is the center of the, uh, the bottom left target. So I'm shooting a little high left, but uh, it does have just plain old white dot sights which we all know kind of suck but uh let's uh load up another rag and we'll shift to our top left all right top left here we go actually let's go ahead and zoom out some so you guys get an idea of the recoil
That group's a whole, whole lot better. Come on, zoom in. There we go. So, let's uh, load up another mag of Tula. That was mag of uh, PMC Bronze. And we'll shift to our upper right, and then we'll uh, stop, load back up, and have some fun with the steel. All right. <coughs> Apparently this cough from the flu just never goes away. So that's always fun. Upper right. Much, much better. Now I'm starting to get used to the trigger and the reset. Do have a couple flyers there. I don't think you can see because, you know, camera went way out of focus. There we go. You can see I got those two flyers, but for the most part, we kept it pretty good in the uh, little circle there. So let's load up some PMC bronze and uh, start hitting steel, see what she does. All right, let's shoot some steel and a bowling pin. Hit the bowling pin. Oh, see what that one does. That one got left outside last night. Well, from last weekend. So about a week. See if it goes bang. Probably won't. It's been out here in the rain, but why not? All right, here we go. Oh, one more Magatula, why not? I wonder how many people have loaded this thing or the EZ back or the uh, 380 version backwards. Obviously, the rest of the ammo wasn't a problem. All right. <laughs> I absolutely love doing that. Yeah, if you're looking, if you're elderly and you're looking for this thing to recoil like your 380, as it's loosened, I will admit, as it's breaking in some, it is easier to rack now. Um, but super unbalanced. If you're looking for something as easy recoiling as your 380 version, this is not the gun for you. Got some good spalls across the uh, old paper target there. All right, let's put this last mag of Tula through it. Flip back to my ugly mug. We'll talk a little bit, and then, uh, of course, 
Sometime this week, we'll go to the bench and strip her apart. Start seeing what'll work and what won't. I guess we're just not gonna hit anything. See, I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I started talking it up. It was gonna be like, well, watch this. So, cause that's just kind of irritating. One more mag. I'm gonna give you an idea of what kind of recoil. We'll flip the camera around here in a minute too. Get a more face on shot. All right, so let's go grab uh, a couple more rounds. We'll flip the camera around, get some uh, frontal shots of the recoil, and then we'll do some talking. All right, so this ought to give you an idea of what it looks like from the front, guys. Way more recoily than uh, than the 380. Obviously, you're dealing with a higher pressure round. However, when you try and incorporate all that same stuff from a lower pressure round into a higher pressure round, this is what you end up with. Because I can tell you right now that uh, up close and personal, it's not going to matter. But any kind of distance, you know, it's accuracy is definitely going to suffer. Now, all that being said, if you're looking for a decent under $500 single stack 9mm with a grip safety and you're not an XD person, um, this, this pistol will be right up your alley. Because it is nice that, you know got the grip safety now we did get a safety model just because when we bought the ez's to make parts with we bought two non-safeties because that's all there was at the time and there are some slight differences uh between the safety model and the non-safety uh, such as you cannot remove the safety put parts in and make it run because the detent for the safety there's an opening on this side inside the frame um, and so what will happen is without that detent and pressure in there from the safety, it, uh, lets the sear and just pop, pop right out of place. So we had a gentleman who went to install the scutum, his gunsmith went to install the scutum, removed the safety because he said, Hey, I don't want the safety on there. The guy said, okay, they'd get one trigger pull and then just a dead trigger. Well, because without the safety and the safety models, the sear doesn't have the correct amount of pressure and will just pop out to one side and locks up the pistol. So keep that in mind. All right. So, all in all, not a bad little pistol. Um, honestly, uh, I can see where the non-safety version of this can come in handy. I can see where a lot of people will like it. Uh, it does have weight issues. I mean, it is stupid heavy on top because of the 9mm slide. 
compared to the 380 because the 380 they can get away with removing a lot more material from the slide. Guys, I'm not making this up. This looks just like an MMP compact slide that's just been milled uh, to be put on the Shield 90Z. And this thing, when we get back to the shop on Monday, when I get back to the shop, I'll weigh it, see how much it weighs. But it is exponentially heavier than the frame, which you're always going to have the explosions happening in the barrel. But there comes a point where it's too top heavy. So as you're shooting and your rounds are going up, 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 it starts tipping down, 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 or up, 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 one of the two directions. But all in all, not a bad little pistol. I do like the 380 version better. Um, that seems like it was kind of, uh, I don't know, slap shot. No, I don't want to say that because it's the same design. The 380Z was brilliant, brilliant design. It really was uh, for what it is and for who it's specifically designed for. But this, I can tell you right now, if you've got major hand issues, arthritis, you know, mine's been acting up in my left hand from all the work I did out in the yard yesterday. I wouldn't want to try and shoot, even in nine, I wouldn't want to try and shoot this gun offhand just because it, the recoil on it kind of sucks because they're trying to make it easy for people with hand issues and the elderly to drag. So it does have its pros and cons. The one good thing about that though is we will be able to do an increased rate uh, spring rate, I'd say. Uh, it looks like we probably won't have to do a guide rod. Uh, this guide rod is serviceable. Um, that detent will pop off the guide rod and we'll be able to change the spring. And as you all know, we've always worked with ISMI very closely and they have new springs coming out in about that size. So that's handy. Um, they start developing for the 43 and such, but we'll be able to use them on a lot of other different pistols so all in all i give it about a seven and a half out of ten it's functional it ate the tula without any issues um it'll shoot <laughs> uh accuracy that was probably more me than anything else but at the same time it does come with just plain white dot sights and when you tend to lose the front dot when it's all the same. I do anyway. Uh, so definitely gonna be doing a trigger guide rod. Um, and that's really about all it needs. And extension, of course, he's working on the extension right now. But uh, seven and a half out of 10, not a bad little piece. Does have its issues, does have a big weight distribution issue, but that can be overcome with higher spring rate and better guide rod. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. If you got any questions, feel free to email me at tech. That's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Be sure to follow us on social media on Firearms Friendly, Full 30, Gun Streamer, Facebook, Vimeo, or wait, Facebook, Instagram, and Vimeo. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.